Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name's Liz and I make videos on purse reviews but also on clothing hauls. So if ever you're into these kind of videos, it would make me so happy if you would subscribe. So today's video is actually a review uh, and how I feel about Chanel's most recent fashion show, which is the fashion show of Métier d'Art for uh, 2021. And it was held in a castle in France. So I'm going to go over every single look that were shown in the fashion show. And if ever you find that this video is a little bit too slow for you, you can always click on the three little dots that are at the top of your screen and then you select, uh, it's going to be written playback. So you select playback and then you're going to be able to make the video uh, go a little bit faster. So just a little tip. <laughs> um, so yeah, so here we start. Métier d'art is French for career in arts, but what it means and represents is that it celebrates all the small artisan ateliers, which are specialized workshops, the button makers, the tweed makers, the embroiderers, and the feather workers. For this show, Virginie Viard really wanted to showcase the exceptional workmanship of the 38 specialized workshops that Chanel acquired through the years. The fashion show was held in the Chateau de Chenonceau in Loire Valley in France. This castle is known to be called Le Château des Dames, meaning the women's castle, because over the years, six different very influential and powerful women lived in it. That castle was basically ran, designed, and decorated by women. One of these women was Catherine de Medici, an Italian noblewoman that became the Queen of France by marrying King Henry II in 1547. The Chateau de Chenonceau was the Queen's favorite home. Gabrielle Chanel was fascinated by the powerful Queen even though they lived 400 years apart. They had the same taste and fascination. They both loved monochrome, black and white, chains, lion, astrology, diamond shape, etc. The insignia of the queen was two interlocking CCs that looked very similar to the Chanel logo, and they can be found all over the castle. They stood for Catherine, C for Catherine. Chanel was definitely inspired by it. Another influential woman that also lived in the castle was Diane de Poitiers. She was smart, powerful, and stunning, and she was the king's mistress. The show is also inspired by her and her taste uh, since she decorated a lot of the castle herself. She also only dressed in black and white and she created the gardens of the castle which Virginie Via was inspired when she chose the flower motifs on the clothes in this collection. Some of the pictures and tips I'm about to show and tell you I got from Loïc Prigent and he is a French director, uh, director, writer and documentarian for the fashion world. You can find him on Instagram and YouTube. He takes us behind the scene and shares with us facts and secrets about how everything is made and by who. So it's really interesting if, like me, you're interested in the more artistic side of fashion. So this show was held in what they call La Grande Allée of the Castle. And Kristen Stewart was the only guest there since she's the Chanel brand ambassador. So on the first outfit, I was surprised to see leggings under the skirt. It takes me back to the Madonna era. It's very cool of Virginie Viard, I find. The pastel pink and the light gray are beautiful and we can see the stunning gold piping on the jacket, which was inspired by the Baroque furniture and the frames inside the castle. Looking at these four outfits, the first thing that catches my eye is the black and white checkered skirts that they are all wearing, which was inspired by the floor that they are walking on, which is the floor of the Grand Galerie of the castle. They are all wearing leggings, again, and the color palette is very neutral so far. There's a lot of faux fur, which I was surprised to see. It's really a showcase of mixing and matching all kind of different materials, I find. Even their purses has the black and white checkered diamonds on them. We also get to see a little drawstring bag with an amazing representation of the castle in sequins. Now some leather pieces. Vogue called some of these looks goth princess, which I think is pretty appropriate. 
The diamond pattern on the first model was inspired by the fact that the queen used to wear them and have them everywhere in the decor, floor, ceilings, and uh, etc. And the little bubble dots forming the diamond represents bubbles of champagne. We can also spot some velour pants and a velour bag, another mix of materials. Those three looks are definitely more edgy, more rock and roll, but still feminine. On the middle model, my eyes were drawn to what it looks like a super long pearl necklace with a big pendant. But after looking closer, I think it's an AirPod case. I think this AirPod case will be very popular. Next up is this snow leopard tweed pattern. This Dalmatian type tweed reminds me of the fur pieces on the capes of kings and queens in our kids' storybooks. Then again, the layered skirt and shorts with pastel leggings. And the bag seems to be made out of faux fur and velvet. Next, if we look at the dresses, uh, the dress of the first model on the left, this motif is called Prince de Galles and was inspired by another castle called Azé le Rideau, which I included a picture of. The two other models have the black and white diamonds of the floor where they were walking on in La Grande Galerie of the Chenonceau Castle, and they paired it with some nice square belts. Lots of fun items in this picture. Those little bags are so cute. They look like the card holders we know, but with a long crossbody chain and a tiny little handle. I predict these to be in very high demand and to sell out. On that same model, I also really like her big hoop earrings with the CC charms hanging at the bottom. These will definitely be on my radar. The cape style jacket is also stunning with the gold buttons and gold trims. Another mix of materials since we can spot the velvet pants they layered under her tweed dress. Then the second model has this necklace that reminds me of a backstage pass. Could it be a hard flat, a hard flat card holder? Here is some really nice tweed jackets. I love the choker on the first model. It looks like a black velvet strand with a red heart CC charm. The second model jacket resembles a little bit as a knight's chained armor, I find. Very sexy with the open sides. Next is some denim with flowers, inspired, by, uh, inspired from the Chenonceau Gardens and the medieval tapestries. Virginie Viard said that she added a touch of Disney to these amazing pattern. We can also see that the model is wearing in her hair some kind of headband with a waterfall of pearls and jewels on each side of her face, which again really gives a medieval vibe. This could pretty much replace earrings. In these two outfits, Virginie added a pop of royal blue, the color blue appearing on many tiles in the castle. Blue also seen on the back of portraits and blue like the royal sky. The sweater on the second model is stunning. It's ornate with the big CC logo, which probably will be in high demand. Layered with a black and white pearl necklace and again that AirPod case type necklace that will also be popular. The first model on the left top, on the left top reminds me of a stained glass pattern. It has these beautiful colors and they added a chunky multi-strand pearl necklace. It's a very feminine look. It gives me a vibe of what a princess on her day off would wear. Then the second model wears this amazing floral pattern knit dress, which is clearly inspired by the tapestries. And I was very intrigued by her bag. It seems to be a two-in-one type bag. The bigger bag seems to be made out of some type of crocheted velour and the little one seems to be made out of leather. It would actu I would actually love the little gold bag on its own. In this show is lots of tweed made with metallic treads and they're always layered with belts and long strand of necklaces, full rhinestones, beads, pearls, which makes for a lot of light reflection. Next up, these three looks are all orned with what it looks like gold coins, which resembles the ceilings of the castle. We can spot a cute little red velvet bag and I love the off-the-shoulder look paired with an amazing CC choker, which will probably be a hot piece. I'm really into this choker. Look at these cute little tweed play suits. I'm surprised of how short these are, but Virginie did say that for this collection, she was also inspired by old movies in which the women would always be quite sexy. The gold details on these suits is just stunning. 
Now the bags. These bags are definitely special pieces. Look at the work on them. The pearls, the beads, the cool design, and the mini CC logos everywhere on them. I will definitely be on the lookout for them. Another nice uh, CC sweater. The CC actually looks like the Catherine de Medici Insignia when looking at the tip of the C's. And of course, they made it in black and white. And the model is wearing two of the pearl necklaces with the AirPod case. Well, what I'm assuming is an AirPod case, I should say. She's wearing a big pearl choker with a rhinestone encrusted CC. Very nice. And the second look is very cute, feminine and elegant with the little cardigan paired with the long flowy tulle skirt with the polka dots. It's one of my favorite looks. And of course, paired with a mini velvet bag. These two dresses show a simple bottom, but lots of beaded work on the top half. And the cape on the right side model gives me Disney princess vibes. Next up, lots of black and white patterns, a mix of material and textures again, frill around the neck and at the bottom of the skirt. Again, a princess on her day off kind of vibe. And that two in one bag again, but in black. Look at the nice chunky knitted material that they use for these two looks. On the model to the right again for a mix of material, they went with this knitted vest top with what it looks like velour pants. She's also wearing the necklace I was wondering about before that looks like a hard case uh, necklace. I of course like the blingy belt and I spotted those shiny camellias on the top of the shoe. Very nice. The second model looks very warm and comfortable in this crocheted ensemble, again layered with leggings and wearing the headpieces with the waterfall jewels that we've seen before. Next up, two feathered looks, some camellia pattern bottoms and a ruffled collar inspired from the ones Catherine de Medici used to wear and also Gabrielle Chanel herself after being inspired by the queen. On this slide, we can see a lot of high slit skirts with of course the leggings underneath nice detailed buttons and triple strand pearl belts. All three models are wearing d'Artagnan boots and as Vogue would say, it gives them a 16th century swagger. Next, on the first model is a be beautiful ivory skirt suit with a discreet quilted pattern of interlocking CCs topped with a crown. She's wearing a gorgeous CC choker and a pearl strand belt. In her hand, a tiny little hard clutch type bag. The second model wearing a longer cut tweed, cut tweed jacket with shoulder pads, black trim and ruffled uh, sleeves. They even added gloves, a very royal touch. The light beige colors in the show were inspired by the stone of the stairs of the castle. On this slide, the first thing that catched my eye is the adorable black cone hat with a veil, the kind usually seen on kids' princess costumes. The four outfits show extra long duster type jackets, which is clearly inspired by the long capes and coats the royal used to wear. All orned with pockets, but with different materials and texture. Next up, some of my favorite outfits. Look at these beautiful lace dresses. The first one with the off the shoulder detail, the beautiful chain choker and the longer train at the back of the skirt. And of course, the cute pink ballerina princess leggings. The middle dress is stunning, matched with the big round hat. It looks like what a princess would wear walking through the royal gardens. And the third dress, look at the amazing details on it. The diamond-shaped tulle with the make-believe nude color under. This is definitely a jaw-dropping dress. These three dresses were the most simple outfits of the whole show. They are simple but elegant, feminine and classy. I can spot tulle, silk, and velour. Virginie Villard did mention that Gabrielle Chanel appreciated the magnificent simplicity of that period, and I think that that is really shown in these uh, dresses. This first outfit definitely gives me rock and roll princess vibes because of the mix of leather and tulle. Again, the diamond shape are found on the, ja uh, on the jacket. The little crystals forming the diamonds are irregular because they represent bubbles of champagne. I noticed that the model is wearing what looks like jewelry made for the top part of the ear. 
They seem to be a little metal arch that is placed behind the ear to be able to securely hold this mini waterfall or ear jewel. Very interesting. I wonder if that will become a thing. The second model wears a wet look type extra long coat. Notice the diamond shaped opening on the legs. Very nice paired with the Mary Jane heels. And last but not least, Virginie's vision of a Disney-like castle motif in colorful rhinestone came to life. Virginie really wanted a playful approach to Chenonceau. You can see the castle on the long sleeve shirt, embroidered on the belt and also on the bag. A real piece of art and a great homage to the location and inspirations of the show. All in all, it was a fun show to watch. There was some really surprising uh, pieces in there and also some pieces that were pretty much a work of art. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed it, I can say. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And that's all. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.